part 5 of our S3 service. So in this video, we are going to learn that what is replication and how to replicate our objects from one bucket to another bucket. So let's start. So let's start with the introduction of our application. So first of all, what is replication? So let's say that we have two buckets and in one bucket we are uploading some objects and that objects we want to duplicate into our second bucket. So this process is called as replication that from uh, one bucket we are going to copy all the objects or we are going to duplicate the objects and we are going to store into the second bucket. So this whole process is known as replication. So for replication first of all we need to enable versioning in the both buckets source bucket and the destination bucket. So here we are going to have two buckets. One is the source and second is the destination. So in source we are going to upload our objects and the objects will be duplicated to our destination bucket. So in both the buckets we need to first of all enable the versioning which is the most important thing in replication. Then next we have two types of replication. First is the cross region replication and second is the same region replication. So as for the name only, in cross region replication, we have to create the buckets both in the different region. Let's say that we have created one bucket in East region and second bucket in the Canada, Canada region. So we can duplicate objects from one bucket to another bucket with the cross region replication also. Then uh, second, we have same region replication in that the buckets would be created in the same regions and the replication will take place. So it's called the same region replication. Then if the buckets are created into the different AWS accounts, then also we can replicate our object from one bucket to another. Application replicates our objects asynchronously. And lastly, but most important thing is that we have to attach a proper IAM permission for S3 bucket for the replication part. So now let's move on to the replication and replicate our objects from one region, from one bucket to another bucket. So let's go. Now let's take the demo of replication. So here we are going to perform the cross region replication. So we are going to create two different buckets, one for source and one for destination. So let's create the source bucket. Click on the create bucket and name your bucket S3 source. Right. So we will name uh, the bucket and the region for first source bucket would be US East only. First of all, most important thing for application as I told is versioning. We have to enable the bucket versioning in both the buckets, source and the destination. So let's go to the bucket versioning part and click on enable. Okay, uh, by everything else, we are going to take uh, the configuration by default only. So let's create the bucket of source. Let's wait till the bucket is created. Okay, so the bucket is created. Now let's open the bucket into a new tab and create a second bucket for destination we'll name it s3 akruti destination or we can say replica also okay so your uh, this bucket we are going to create in some other region let's say that will create this bucket in canada Right. So only it will be cross region one bucket is in us east and second bucket would be in canada and replication would take place Okay, so we have to enable bucket versioning in the destination bucket also. So click on enable and create the bucket. Click on create bucket. So let's wait till the bucket is created. We'll uh, open this bucket into the second tab only and new tab only. So we'll be able to manage both source and destination. Okay, so here the source bucket is created and now we have to enable the replication. Uh, we have to create a replication rule. First of all, let's upload some uh, objects here. We'll upload one file. We'll upload the image here. Click on open and click on upload. Okay. So we have uploaded the object successfully. Now we have to go, we have to create a replication rule, right? So for that, we have to go to the management part here. And here we'll be able to see the replication rule, right? We are here able to see the replication rules and we have to create the first replication rule. Let's name the replication rule as a demo replica. Replication rule, come on, demo replication rule. Okay. After all, 
for the source part we are going to uh, remain uh, we are going to take uh, everything as by default the region is east here we are going to choose the rule scope as apply to all the objects right because we want to apply this to all our objects in the bucket and in the destination part we have to choose our bucket so let's browse our s3 and choose our application bucket so here actually we are not able to see that let's wait okay let's again choose it or okay it is not being shown so let's copy the name here and paste it here okay it's not being found we'll directly paste the name here okay so it has identified it the replication bucket and the region is the canada we have chose the canada region only for the replication bucket that's it we have to choose the im role here we are going to choose create a new role for it and and it will attach to this replication rule after all the things all the configuration we are going to take it by default we are going to just change the source destination and the im role part now let's save the replication rules and add the objects into our source bucket so we can see the replication here it will ask you that if you want to replicate your before objects which you have uploaded before so we don't want to replicate that so we'll choose no and we'll submit here now whatever objects we upload into our source it will be replicated to the replication bucket so our replication rule is created successfully now let's go to the objects part of our bucket and upload some more objects let's add some files and we'll add aws and again the channels profile we'll add both the images here and we'll click upload let's wait okay so the file is uploaded let's close from here and we have as we have enabled the versions the id version id should be maintained for every file which we upload in our buckets okay so now let's go to the replicate uh, replication bucket and let's refresh here till now we no no, no objects are replicated let's wait till the objects get replicated so after a few seconds we are able to see the replication here we are able to see both the files which we have uploaded into our source bucket are here in the destination bucket even the version id of both the files are same so let's check it aws security uh, we have version id uh, kj1 and here also the version id is kj1 so the objects are replicated properly right so this is how you can uh, do cross region replication and that's it for the video meeting you in the next video